Hi, it is Marie, and I am back again today with another video. But before I get into today's video, I have a friend. Her name is Becky. Uh, Becky reached out to me uh, via email over the summer. Uh, she has a YouTube channel called Autistic Pride. Um, so I thought I'd made mention, make mention of that today um, and put a link to her channel in the description box down below um, for those of you who wish to uh, check it out. Um, today's video, however, I wanted to talk about cerebral palsy and siblings. Um, based off of my own experience, I am a triplet, I have two sisters, we are all the same age, um, and I also have a younger brother, um, but based off of my experience, um, you know, having siblings has, have, has added an interesting aspect to having cerebral palsy. On, on one hand, and I think this is um, especially true, true with my sisters, um, they have offered um, a standard for me to look up to um, as um, normality, I guess you can say. On the other hand, um, they, they were kind of something that I became dependent upon um, and something that I became jealous of. Um, and so early on, I guess you can say, uh, you know, I did everything my sister did. I didn't realize I was different. I thought we were all doing the same thing. Albeit, I did have, to, I did have trouble and uh, I just kind of chalked it up to a lack of in intellect, like I was dumb and I, I just, I couldn't figure this out, you know, I would, I would see them doing something and I would do it and I would think I was doing the same exact thing, um, and, and you know, I was like, why, why, why can't I get this right, like, you know, why can't I get to the end point they're at, um, and, and I just, I didn't realize that I, for one, lacked the fine motor skills and, and for two, I had cerebral palsy. I didn't realize I was, I was different than they were. Um, but, I mean, it gave me, it gave me something normal to engage in, engage in. It cut me on the same level with not only them, but my peers. And so, you know, I'm grateful for that, that I could go along and they, they were kind of like my partners and, um, yeah. Um, but, you know, as I grew up, I began, I began to become jealous of that. That frustration turned into jealousy. It was like, I, I want to be like them, you know, why can't I, why can't I do this? Um, but it was, it was never resentment, and I do want to make that clear. I never felt like, why am I the one to have cerebral palsy? I wish they, they were the ones that had cerebral palsy, you know? I never felt that. I always wanted to be where they were. I didn't want them to be where I was. I always wanted to move up, you know? Um, now I did, I did become dependent on them. Um, because there was a lot of things I couldn't do and a lot of things um, that made me frustrated, you know, and I would lean back on them. They were like my safety net. And I've talked about this before, it was kind of like because they were always by me. Not, not always, but you know, in a broad general sense that they were always with me, I could always count on them. Um, to kind of pull through um, for what I couldn't do and so it never really gave me an opportunity to uh, try something because I would always turn to them um, and in hindsight it well at the time I think it was it was like my comfort level you know but in hindsight you know that kind of that kind of set me back and it, I think it's what makes me dependent on people even today, um, even though I, I try not to. Um, you know, there are certain things I still can't do, uh, especially related to fine motor skills. Um, but and then the the jealousy kind of kind of went on as as especially as we got older, um, because there were a lot of things that they were starting to do as as they got older, as we got older, that I just couldn't do. Um, you know, they were, they were both um, synchronized swimmers and I couldn't, I couldn't do that. Um, and so they, 
not not left him behind, but for the sake of explanation, um, I was kind of, you know, left on my own, and then they went off, and and you know, it is what it is. Um, so and you know that kind of gave me gave me an avenue to be my own self, be independent. But at the same time, it was like w the spheres of separation, that gap of separation was widening, you know, what they could do and what I couldn't do. That whole gap was, was opening up. And, uh, yeah, that, that, you know, at, you know, at the time I was like, I'm just like you. And then all of a sudden it's like, no, I'm not like you. You know, it, it becomes more ob obvious. Um, and and so you know you know that that does that makes you upset and then especially when you see your little brother get to do things um that you can't do it's like oh i am i am stuck um but i mean i mean i don't want to over exaggerate you know i'm fine where i am i i realized where where i am is good for me um, and I shouldn't judge my success on them. Uh, and so that is all I have for today. Feel free to comment down below. Uh, leave any suggestions, opinions, concerns. Um, and, and check out Becky's channel. I will have that linked in the description. I will say goodbye and I will see you in the next video.